Hello everybody, welcome to the sound test room. Today we're going to take a look at chord flow. There it is, chord flow. So before I get into how this actually works and you can control all the stuff, let me tell you how I've got this set up at the moment, right? Okay, so I've got chord flow controlling Animoog and I've got Animoog going into Cubasis. Or is it Animoog? Animoog, Animoog. Uh, I've got it going into Cubasis. So I have my uh, tempo is 120, which is the same as um, chord flow. And I have my metronome set up here for a four bar pre count because uh, I can't use chord flow inside Audio Bus 3 yet, but I think it's been worked on and stuff. So, but like I said, chord bus does, chord bus, <laughs> chord flow does send MIDI out. This little section here, MIDI output settings and uh, MIDI out. So there's your internal MIDI out, Animoog. So we just hit play and you'll see it'll play section one and it'll play section two. So, so chord flow is now playing Animoog. tell you what I'm going to do so I know I've got a four bar count and that gives me time to jump back into um, chord flow and um, make some uh, a, well just to start it off basically so that's what we're going to do so we've got four bars so we've got loads of time so You'll notice that the timing is off. Doesn't matter. I'll show you why. All that will do is stop it at the end of the sequence instead of repeating it. basis and let's stop that now stop the metronome stop that uh, oh do you know what a hey, why didn't that record a hey. is that something I did I bet it is isn't it right I'll try it again let's go try it again guys everything's armed I'm not missing the first beat hang on did record sorry Sorry, that is. Right, no, that's what I recorded earlier. I'm going to get rid of that. Yeah, I'm going to go back to the beginning. Gonna s I, I recorded it earlier to make sure it worked. <coughs> right, so let's go. Um, all armed. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Better now, turn the metronome off. Sounds nicer. It's a beautiful thing, Animook. So, 
So stop record now. And there it is. There it is now. The thing is, I was slightly off on timing. So what we can do is let's just expand. Let's expand this hugely. Go back to the beginning quickly. Ooh, where is it? Stop billion. Let's expand. 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 And let's set this. Let's give this uh, um, a, 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 a better starting point. So let's hold it there. Now let's just start it. Let's go. Let's just. I can't really see, but let's expand it a bit more. Get it a bit more accurate, eh? Oh, I think that's our maximum expansion. So I think that. I think there to be pretty good. The thing I'm doing here is moving this around. Is make sure that you have your your magnet, your snap control off, basically, or you'll just snap around. Usually, have it set to I don't know quarter bars. If you do that, it'll just snap around to quarter bars. Just a tip there. Just a just a quick thing. So, if we switch our metronome on now, any move should be. Oh no! Look, that's the first bar there. I'm going to have to snap that off again, see? I want to be there, don't I? Sorry. It's my eyes. My eyes. That's pretty close, guys. I mean, you know, in all seriousness. Might be best. Just, let's do one more. Anyway, it's pretty close. We could make some finer edits, I suppose. Um... <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah uh, while we're doing this please uh, like the video subscribe to the channel um uh, please uh, become a patron if you possibly can or please 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 just donate something small amount it doesn't matter if you like the video you know please it really really helps guys you know this is what this is what i do you know this and the ebay record shop this is all i can do um right okay so let's see so we've got a metronome on, so we should be closer now. Do you know what? I'm a bloody mile off now. Look at this. Look, 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 look. Anyway, my point being is... That's, that's pretty close, that is. We should get four bars and it should start. Gold. Oh, my God. You know what? I'm having a day. So now you're free to add your bits and pieces, or you can make like a cool arpeggiator thing for any move. Let's forget all this now. Let's get into it's close, close, let's close, let's close everything back again. Let's just open chord flow. Now, basically, chord flow in its basic state does have some sounds of its own. Stick with the piano now for just a simple, simple, simple reasons. Is that it's easy to hear. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna start from scratch. So we're gonna create a new and uh, let's call it scratch. Eh? Okay, and here it is. You get one line, and what we can do is there's different ways to draw it draw your notes in but here's our one line and it just tracks across there one bar let's select another one of these little squares and add another note
Now we can go and look at our sections. So we can see it's four bars, four beats long sort of thing. So we can go further in there. Let's choose the duration to be uh, two bars. And let's change our chord to uh, C minor. Okay. Very cool, very cool, see. So now we have section one. Okay. And this is part of section one, and we're going to add another part to section one. Hit this little plus button here. And let's just have repeat selected so we can work on this one. So let's also go over here, set this for, oops, two bars. So you can set our polyrhythmic timings as well if you want to do. Let's change to a, a minor with an added ninth. No, with it. Yeah, do it. Um, let's go back and let's add one more section. Else we'll be here all day, but you know, you can get the idea, you can add as many sections as you like in a section. I'll show you. Let's put this little in there, because that's nice. Not diminished. Yeah, diminished is cool. Okay. And then you can choose your bass notes as well. Okay, so... Anyway, anyway. Here's the thing, right, I've got that set on 4, I'm going to set it on 8. Right, so you can see what's happening now. So once I stop it, it'll start from the top. No, it won't, it'll start from because I'm selected. Right, so repeat all. Start. Well, so what I could theoretically do is put another C mine there and it'd make more sense time-wise. Anyway, what else have we got here? So we've got this going. We've got controls over our steps. speed which is the rate okay cool so now we've done that we go back to there and then we can add another section to to scratch if you like so let's add another section and just we won't go into doing all that again, but we can select a different, a completely different set of chords. We can have it for playing as long as we like, just exactly as I've just done it before. So what happens now if you're in section view, right? This 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 main view here, and you start with this, it'll play your whole section that you've just built, and then it'll drop to section two, which is nice. Which is what I did in the Animoog thing. show you something because this is brand new let's repeat selected and we can start from scratch again so let's choose our wavy drawing tool here and not our straight line tool because our straight line tool will do this see How cool is this? Yeah, I mean, you can have hours of fun, never mind trying to get it into anything else, I don't care. And of course, it'll remember your what's it. So I set up, um, I don't know, I can't remember what it's called now. I haven't done many. I think it was it the steps I've been. Yeah, this one, this third one, I set up this section. This sounds great. It's really musical. 
and this is what you do you know you do it by you just just have a mess around drawing in different things requires zero musical knowledge which is very cool you can change out your chords you can choose you can do this what else we can you get there oh you can get facebook twitter you know what i mean Ickies. uh latency you can set your output again you sin you can do that you can set it to anything that will receive midi uh and any synth that will receive midi input you can control with this and if that synthesizer works in uh, audio bus then you're good to go you can get anything this can do into audio bus is a bit of a work around until this gets uh <clears throat> audio bus so we can see what we're doing so let's listen to this one i'm going to change it let's just change that sound because it just sounds a bit mechanical you know it's all very it's all very kind of midi-ish isn't it let's just set this on i don't know vibraphone's quite nice isn't it Now, oh no, third bit. Love this bit. It's great, isn't it? I love that, and it was one of those purely accidental things, messing around with certain chords. Let me see what chords I used, A minus 7, E minus 7, F minus 6. And you just added all the different bits and pieces till it started sounding cool. <laughs> I love that, it's great. That appeals to my progressively <laughs> arpeggiated mind. So anyway, guys, look, brilliant. Uh, chord flow is very, very cool. I think that it's only going to get better. I think things are going to be added to it and stuff like that. I think the developer wants to basically see if people liked it. But, you know, the fact that you can just pretty much draw in. I don't want to mess with that. Uh, draw in what you like. So it's a new one up. Uh, okay, and then you can just basically play around with that. So let's do some before we go, let's do some mad stuff. I don't know what this is going to sound like. flow enjoyable great fun mess around with rages beware of its limitations at the moment okay like i said but you can see that you can following the uh, process get it into cubases or, or whatever door of choice you use all right guys so you enjoyed this um like i said before please become a patreon please donate a dollar or a quid if you can um yeah all right guys uh have a good day and i will see you later